Did you know that Mark Cuban, the famous billionaire, is hugely invested in the world of crypto right now? That can come as a surprise to many as the owner of Dallas Maverick wasn't exactly known as the crypto enthusiast. This man's views on crypto have come a long way since 2019 when he said he'd rather have bananas than Bitcoin. These days, if he's not putting money into Shark Tank projects, about 80% of Cubans' new investments go into crypto or crypto-related projects. So what happened and which coins are in his portfolio? Let's see. The business tycoon was recording a podcast with former Daily Show host Jon Stewart when he made the revelation. The Shark Tank star has bolstered his position as a great supporter of the expanding crypto culture. The 63-year-old Shark Tank investor talked about his admiration for the decentralized element of cryptocurrencies. Cuban is impressed with the fact that crypto holders get a say in directing the overall trajectory of their favorite tokens. The investments I'm making now are not in traditional businesses. 80% of the investments I make that are non-Shark Tank are in and around cryptocurrencies, Cuban told Stewart. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Speaking on the Delphi podcast, Cuban shared that about 60% of his crypto is in Bitcoin, 30% in Ethereum, and 10% in other coins. And this is what Mark had to say about his comment on choosing bananas over Bitcoin. I was always positive on Bitcoin as a store of value, Cuban said. The whole banana thing was over the utility of Bitcoin. I didn't see it as a currency. I don't see it as a currency. According to Cuban, Bitcoin is a better alternative to gold and it's going to continue, he said. That's why I own Bitcoin and why I never sold it. Cuban is particularly interested in the way decentralized autonomous organizations, or DAOs, can shake up traditional business models. A decentralized autonomous organization basically says that there is no centralized organization, it's all decentralized and trustless, he explained. And what we mean by trustless is that there is not a management group or a board of directors or a CEO making decisions. The structure of a DAO means people who own tokens can vote and set the direction of the network, and Cuban says this is the type of structure he is looking to invest in. Behind cryptocurrency, DAOs and NFTs lie blockchain technology. Cuban told Stewart that he has also invested in blockchain companies. Cuban is also very interested in Ethereum, the blockchain where Ether, the second largest cryptocurrency below Bitcoin, is built mainly due to the smart contracts that run on it. Cuban said on the podcast that he is also a fan of smart contracts. What really changed everything was smart contracts, Cuban said. Smart contracts came along and that created DeFi and NFTs. That's what changed the game. That's what got me excited. That's why it's a lot like the internet. Cuban hasn't specifically named the rest of the cryptocurrencies he owns that represent the remaining 10%, but there is none that I'm just all in on other than Bitcoin and Ethereum that I look at as being an equivalent investment, he said. Back in February 2021, Cuban bought a small amount of Dogecoin, a cryptocurrency that started as a joke, for his 11-year-old son Jake. Cuban said at the time that the purchase was meant to be fun and educational for his son, while also helping Cuban learn more about the space. There's some I buy for fun, some I do for the experience because I just want to learn, Cuban added. Cuban knows the current scene of crypto is not perfect, but he is looking at the future. It's not to say there aren't a lot of problems, Cuban continued. Cryptocurrency is hard to understand and it's a hassle. But 10 years from now, there's going to be those that succeed, that will create its own economy. What do you think? Is he right? Let us know in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button. See you in another video.